So today I'm going to be uh, undergoing uh, what you call a CO2 fractional laser. I was uh, suffering from um, adult acne, um, so I developed a lot of like acne scars from it, and uh, I'm hoping that this will be removed and you know I'll have a smoother skin. Hi guys, it's Dr. Emmer. We're going to do a combination treatment right now for acne scars. And if you can see in my patient, we'll come in real close. He has this patch area, very smooth baby skin all around here, and then right here in his cheek area, he has a little bit of a combination of ice pick, box car, and rolling scars. We're using a little bit of TCA to kind of blend, blend these, because we're gonna do an aggressive laser. And this is typically one of the first things we do when we're treating some of the darker, deeper scars. We pre-treat with a peel to lighten the skin tone, especially in darker skin types. Now you can see some of the TCA is really becoming a little more active. So now that we've done all we need to do for TCA, we're gonna go on to step two, our laser. We are now doing our CO2 resurfacing. I've outlined an area here, if you can come kind of close, where he has his deepest scars. The thing is, given his skin type, we have to be really cautious about how deep we go because of risk of hyperpigmentation. So we're going pretty deep in the two and a half, three millimeter range right now using the deep FX. This is a, a laser designed to treat deep scars. And why is it, how do we know it's treating the deep scars? Is because the columns are very small. They're like little daggers, 0.12 millimeters in depth and they're going super deep. All right, you guys, now I'm using high density, superficial resurfacing on a side angle, you see, to get some of these very superficial irregularities in these scars that he has. See right over here, for example, it's like box car. We're just gonna zoom right over that and get it to blend in the surface. All right, guys, now we're on our second, or our last component besides our healing component, and we're doing our resurfacing superficially. Although it looks very superficial because you can see the scabs, 1.2 millimeters in diameter. The energy actually goes very deep, which is why CO2 is very popular for resurfacing because the energy is absorbed by the water in the skin. So all that white is dehydrated skin and energy that's being dispersed all around it. It's gonna cause tightening, improvement in lines, and also scars. Uh, we're going pretty strong for him. He's gonna probably need to be very aggressive with lightning creams afterwards, but it's gonna give him a nice improvement. That's the goal. And now we're gonna apply our post-procedural healing, which is gonna include hyaluronic acid, vitamin B, and his PRP. Take a look here, his PRP, natural growth factors from his own blood, gonna help him heal. He's gonna take some of this home later tonight. He's gonna do it later tonight as well. And we have an entire regimen. What's very important is you don't just go and get this ablative laser resurfacing done without proper pre and post care, instructions, masks, etc. Because the biggest thing that's gonna promote the problems that would occur, such as infection, hyperpigmentation, prolonged redness, and irregular um, the improvement or discoloration would be not having the right post-procedural healing. So, but overall, he did a great job, and we'll follow his progression over the next two weeks. My face is swollen and uh, very raw. Um, but Dr. Emmer and his team did a really good job, and uh, they made sure that I was taken care of. It's not painful at all. It's just mostly uh, uncomfortable. But like with the right product that you use, um, you know, like I think you'll be okay if you do this procedure. Some scabbing fell off already. Um, it's kind of painful right now and um, really, really uncomfortable. Um, I just tried to keep my face um, moisturized and well hydrated. As you can see, there's a big difference from yesterday. Uh, most of the scabbing are gone. I did my uh, thorough vinegar soak yesterday and most of the scabbing just fell off.
overall I'm happier that it's not as itchy, it's not as uncomfortable as it was yesterday. There's a big difference now. Um, I can see um, the improvement of my skin. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. Um, it's still a little pink, I don't know if you can see because of the light. Um, my skin is a little blotchy, it's not as bad, but so far I think it's healing well.